Hello friends, Jalpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with Zevi. In this video, we are going to see top 3 extensions for C Sharp development on Visual Studio Code. So before moving to that, uh, uh, I would highly rec recommend to subscribe to my channel Code with Zevi because I am going to create lot many videos and I want you to get uh, notifications for each of my video. And it also gives me motivation to uh, create such kind of videos. So let's get directly started to uh, our topic. And uh, I am directly jumping into the Visual Studio Code. So here are the top three extensions which I am going to show. The first extension is uh, from the Microsoft. Uh, it is called C Sharp. And if you see this, like it is based on the OmniShop, which is a open source project from Microsoft for providing IntelliSense and debugging and other services for that. It provides lots of features like if you have seen my videos related to, uh, to uh, ASP.NET Core then like it provides me all kind of uh, IntelliSense so like if you do this and here you can see like it is providing with the IntelliSense and everything even you can debug those things so let's debug it so for example if I put things here and from here debug panel I can do uh, debugging there so it is going to start my project so here you can see there is no compilation error and now it's going to load my project in the browser itself so here we need to add the exceptions because it is there and we are going to check our swagger path so this is my uh, swagger path and uh, I am going to click here to execute my API so it will hit our breakpoint so here you can see like it is hitting me with the breakpoint and it gives me all kind of uh, facilities here from here I can see oh, what, are, what are the things there and what are the result views and all other stuff so it provides me great support for like debugging and few other stuff so that was extension number one next extension was um, C sharp XML documentation so it gives me uh, Visual Studio like uh, uh, Visual Studio like uh, comments so if I let's say if I wanted to put comments here if I type three times uh, the slash then it will provide me the XML comments for C sharp which is like inbuilt in the Visual Studio if you are using Visual Studio then you might be aware about this so that is the uh, important thing uh, required when I need to do commenting. The third extension is the C Sharp extension from uh, Jonathan Cannon. Uh, so basically, like it gives me like lots of cool features there. So let's say uh, if I want to uh, write something with the constructor, then if I write C, C tall like just like in my Visual Studio and click on this. It will provide me the default uh, default of uh, body for the constructor. Same way, like if uh, if I wanted to initialize this property, like for example, student ID uh, from the constructor, then it, if I just write this, and here you can see, like I got all these properties. So it is also very cool extension to have. So mostly I am using this free extension to do my C sharp development in Visual Studio Code. And trust me, I don't lead uh, full fledged uh, uh, IDE, uh, which is like a Visual Studio. Like most of the time, uh, I uh, this Visual Studio Code is sufficient enough. 
so i worry about this extensions i will put uh, those extensions url in the my description uh, so i hope you like this video and if you like this video uh, then please hit the subscribe button and uh, i would also recommend you to subscribe to my channel uh, that is the url uh, for my channel thank you for watching this video see you in the next video